it's Maya's birthday tomorrow by the time I'm recording this. And I need to do or need to do an origin story for it. Little did I realize I need to record the video before her birthday. And I'm contemplating how to do this because I don't know what I can and can't say. Just because of how intertwined and personal our origin story gets. And I have a green light again, so goodbye. Right, I can't remember where where I left this off. But basically, Maya's birthday is coming up. We'll, we'll just go there. Right, Maya's birthday is coming up, and of course, I had to do the origin stories because, well, I think I'm just gonna keep doing these for my friends. Plus, I told her she would get one because of whatever. Maya and I met when we were about 14. Also, we were in Form Four. We're doing JA. If you don't know what that is, it's Junior Achievers. It's a program in Trinidad to teach school school children about business and how to run things and blah 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 blah. And that stuff and gets all different secondary schools into mingling and meeting each other. So it's not just situated in your school. When I just met Mayo, I would have been we we're in the same like group. Right, we got paired together in like the same group of like 30, 40 kids in a room. And my first interaction and memory of my own wasn't us actually talking, it was us in the room thinking, what do we do? Like these 14 year olds, like what do we create? What do we do? What, what do we put out there into the world? And Maya stood up and she said, I want some of this shirt that had a video game controller on it and then it said I'm good with my hands and I thought that was pretty funny and no one laughed no one laughed but I thought it was a genius shirt and I thought it was so funny and I was like she's cool and I just left her that I didn't actually talk to her and what I ended up talking to Maya was because that would have been around the time where I just discovered I was dyslexic or realized hey this is a thing in the world and maybe I'm not so normal in that sense. And I was talking to Justin about it. Justin and Vishala actually. And well maybe I should like piece a uh, flashback to when Maya mentions that being part of how we met. So okay. Um first time I met Justin technically it was in form four because he was dating my friend and John was in my JA so my friend was like friends friends and that's how I met John I was talking to Justin and Vishal about it and Vishal was like well my friend Maya knows a lot about dyslexia so maybe you should talk to her right I was like oh, okay and that that is actually how I started talking to Maya because of that whole introduction and then we started talking about that um, yeah, let's, let's move on to part two. We won't stay here telling this whole story. Hey, Abigail. Uh-huh. I know you're cooking right now, mm -hmm. but Maya's birthday is coming up. Oh, wow. Okay. And I'm making a video of people telling her happy birthday. Do you want to say happy birthday? Yeah, I would love to say happy birthday, Maya. Happy birthday. And I hope you have a wonderful turnaround, son. Yay. Okay. And good luck with all your endeavors. Cool. Smalley says happy birthday too. Yes. And she says, thank you for coming to Splice so many times. <laughs> and we're going to do your portrait next. Cool. Ah! <laughs> this is a mess. Oh my god, I didn't plan on recording this video properly at all. Um, so yeah, we, we met around there and that's how we ended up talking and becoming friends, right? Uh, and I mean, I greatly had like a great help in me understanding that about myself and understanding that I was dyslexic because at that point in my life, I was like now realizing that was a thing and understanding it for what it was and then being like, oh, this sounds like a lot like me. This looks a lot. Well, that was a catch and a half. I would not have understood. Really, essentially, myself. 
Oh, a lot of that, without those conversations, without her oh, moving through school at that point, and I'm so appreciative for her for all those things. We kind of, not that we didn't talk, but things got a little bit more interesting after Form 5. So we're still friends, everything was fine. But when we got closest during Form 6, or Form 6, we, we will get to there. Ish, maybe. Action! <laughs> Run it, take it, run it, take uh, it. Okay, hold on. Uh, take two. Action. Okay, so I'm here for the interview to be part of Maya's origin stories. Um, but I need to be professional for such an occasion. Right, where was I? <clears throat> huh. I suppose Maya's one of the people I've known for a shocking amount of time where We've met each other at JA and we kind of fell off for a while because, well, first and foremost, we went to different schools and yeah, that tends to get in the way of certain relationships and thankfully, one of the great things about COVID actually was that we met again and we've been talking since and we've been friends and it made me realize how much you really miss out when you let certain interactions go to waste, you know? You meet certain people and you just you stop talking to them and then you never know what could happen and I just it just made me realize how little how little time we have and I just really appreciate Maya so much because well <laughs> we've been friends for relatively a short amount of time compared to how long we've known each other but it's been through one of the roughest periods in my life and. She's been part of one of my most important support groups and I can't say that I'd be the same today if it wasn't for her and all of my other friends. So a great a great shout out to Maya. All the love and appreciation in the world and thanks for being friends with me, even though GA set us apart and have a great good day. Don't tell you that for a minute. But he could cut out anything. No, but I'm thinking, give me like two seconds. Okay. Shit. Like, nothing has popped into my head yet. Just, um, just call me, not in front of camera. You just buy your own. You recorded it, no? Yes. <laughs> I knew it. Um, <laughs> hello. Is that a bank page? Not very good at words. This sucks. Um, I don't know. We met a few times before. Oh, hi, Maya. Happy birthday. Wait, this is going off late. Um, he probably gonna keep all this in, cause he off. Um, um, you know, I remember the first time we met. You know, it was his birthday. I think maybe like form four, form five. You came early. We met then. You know, it was a bit awkward because you didn't talk to me and I didn't talk to you. Cause you know, we shared that place and it's straight. You know, awkward. Yeah. That's form six, by the way. Form six, same thing. You know, I uh, yeah. Um, right. You know, but it took a. Another maybe three years and a pandemic for us to become friends. Very much worthwhile, to be fair. Um, you know, uh, I appreciate our friendship. You all kept me sane during the COVID. Right, yeah. Running out of things to say because, you know, this is wild. Um, anyway, happy birthday. Um, happy we we're friends. And hope this year goes great. Bye. <laughs> Okay, I'm back home, let's wrap this up. Uh, he kinda got a two for one special because really and truly, my intent was just to, to harass Justin and then Shaq was there too. So you got Justin and Shaq. I was really just planning to harass, harass Justin like how I harassed you for, for his birthday. After form five, both of us left our schools that we started in. She left her secondary school, I left CIC. And that would have been that. We were still in school, we just weren't in our original schools that we started off in. And our schools were like right next to each other. Like we could have walked to each other if we wanted to. And that's exactly what we did. We we didn't have as much rules or strict rules as usual secondary schools do. Because I was in Form 6 in Newey at that point. And because of that, you were just like, if you don't have a class, you don't have to be here. But sometimes I'll just have like large gaps in between classes. So what used to end up happening because we started over and you know one 
and we were essentially right next to each other. We spent a good chunk and portion of time together, which is when I think, realistically, when we started getting really close. And um, where things developed to where they are now, I guess. It, it came to a point where sometimes we would just be like, hey, you wanna go for lunch? And we go for lunch. Um, or, hey, my car needs gas. Do you want to come with me to the gas station? Things like that. Granted, the gas station was like two minutes away from where we were, but like, it that 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 was the stuff that we did, and it was that like over and over and over, and we started lambing a lot at that point, which then brings us basically to where we are now. My has been like a big supporter of my creativity, right? Granted, all my friends are and have been, but Maya was the first person to say, "Yeah." I'll do that when I picked up a camera and allowed me to cover her in paint and dig around with a camera trying to figure it out. I am forever thankful for that. Uh, and she still allows me to just do whatever with a camera if I say, hey, do you want to do this? Right? Hence, she ends up in so many photos. Sometimes she comes up with ideas. Maya is possibly one of the sweetest, most caring most generous people in my life. She's an amazing friend, an amazing person. I can't explain enough or how much there is to all of this. And I mean, I could tell a story of like, uh, holy shit we did, like the time, I think I, I think it's it's long enough now to say this, like the time um, in Form 6 when I skipped class and we went to movie town. <laughs> <laughs> all the adventures we've done and all the things we've been through it's just great she also tells you when you're wrong <laughs> I think that was like one of the strangest but best eye-opening experiences that I had or have had in my, my early years especially when our friendship was just like now forming there were so many times where Maya was straight up like, no, that's not how that works, or that's not really what XYZ situation is. And she was never afraid to call me out when I was being off about something or when I did not understand the situation for what it was. So let's just end it here, my hand is getting tired, and say happy birthday.